So could you please go ahead and highlight this section? So this will take the service and the feeder, the feeders, in particular, the service that's going to be feeding all these manufactured homes lot. This is 550.30, 550.30, okay? And I want to remind you guys, this calculation is for a voltage system of 120.240. And this calculation is for mobile and manufactured homes. And we have a lot, and we need to plug in these mobile or manufactured homes into the slot. So I need a service that can do the, um, the calculation for it. So I'm going to go get rid of my... Okay. So the first thing I want you guys to know, how to, to find the demand. Um, Chris, we are doing it only for 122.40, so don't think of three phase here. Um, there are two calculations. Either you use the first one, which is most of the time we use. And it will tell you very easy, if you have a mobile home, <clears throat> mobile home lot, um, a mobile home park, you go 16,000 volt amp for every lot that you're going to put a mobile home in. That's easy. You add the lots that you have there, and you add 16,000 uh, volt amp, or, or you can do it based on this calculation here, 550.18. And if you guys go to 550.18, it walks you through like a residential house, residential house calculation, almost. And then if you, then you apply the demand factor from this table. So based on how many, uh, on how many lots you have, you apply the demand factor. For example, um, Nick, my friend, suppose I have a lot that can handle up to uh, 12, right? 12 lots park. Uh, then, uh, because it's highly unlikely that they're all going to be up at the same time, so my demand factor for that for them would be what? 27. Everybody can see how the the that. Why well, can't I get it too? Okay, so if I have uh, <clears throat> up to. 10 to 12, the demand factor is 27. You're going to see how easy that is when you apply the, the rule. Any question, guys, about this? Two calculations, <clears throat> tell my friend. You either do it by 550.18, which is exactly like we did with the residential. 15-volt um, amp for every two circuits, blah, blah, blah. All the residential calculation. Or most of the time, we do the 16, Chris, because 16, it's easier. Every lot, 16, and move on. You're supposed to do the largest, though. Okay. So let's go, I'm going to do it based on the 16. So everybody knows where we are right now in the manufactured and mobile homes right here and in the demand. So any questions guys about this table? That's what we're going to be doing. I want to remind you, this is a 122.40 single phase system. Okay, so with this. So you would, if you were doing this in a practical sense, so you would have to figure out if the standard home is larger than 16. Yes, yeah. But usually when you have the lots, you only have a lot, you know, you don't, you know, you can, I guess you can estimate how big the house is going to be. That's why the, the, the first method is the most common one, because you don't have anything yet there. You just go by lot. No, I'm just, if, if it's, let's just say you're going to dump 20 of these things on a lot and rent them out at the price of the prices, and you did know what they were, then you'd have to. You do a calculation. You'd have to do the calculation. Calculation. If it's more. Absolutely. If it's more than that, you have to use it. So, all right, so let's go and have an example based on this. Um, let's go, so we, everybody knows where we are. And um, I'm going to go directly into my example. Okay, so for this example, <clears throat> um, let's use um, mobile manufactured homes park. Example, example number one, mobile slash manufactured park. So we're doing it for the park. We're doing it for the whole service that feed the whole park, the whole, all the lots. Make sense? Um, let's take the example that they're having here. We have, take a different, I'm going to take a different example. I'm, ha I'm going to have a lot. Here's the info that you need to know. This is called, I call it given. The given info about this example, I have, uh, let's just say, uh, 50 lots, 50 lots uh, in the park, and I need to do the, uh, the voltage system, the voltage system, this is the first thing given. Second thing is voltage is 240 slash 120 uh, volt single phase, 
these are all given. <clears throat> and the third thing, what, what do you need to do? Um, size, service, service, equipment. Okay, does that make sense, guys? I have a lot, I mean a, a park. This is my park. And I don't know how we're going to divide this one, but you can imagine that's divided into, I don't know, you can do your math and, and divide it into how many lots we're going to have, 50 lots. I don't know if that will give you 50 lots. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, 24. Imagine it's 50 lots. So we have a 50 lots here. And we're going to do the, <clears throat> the service that feed the whole 50 lots. Make sense? Any question as what they give in? 50 lots, we need to do the service that does the whole 50 lots. Very easy. <clears throat> so Rob, my friend, you take uh, from the code that we've just referenced, you take 16K KVA for each lot, and you multiply them, piece of K. Any question as about the given? Any question about the given? I guarantee you, Chris is gonna do his calculator is being working as we talk here, to plug it into the Excel. Not that one. Okay, any question about the given? Everybody knows what we're doing, mobile manufactured homes lot. We're gonna size the service that feed the whole lot. So Rob, Michelle Cooley is called to do a manufacturer lot, homes um, uh, park, and you guys are gonna provide the service. And from the service, you take a feeder to each one of these lots to feed the lots. There's requirement that we go through guys with our electricians is how far they disconnect from the mo mobile home and all this stuff. Um, I'm not going to do that with you. We're, we're concerned mainly right now about the sizing. Okay. <clears throat> so I have 50 of them. So here's what I'm, I'm going to draw, what, what I need you guys to size, really. I need to size the following. And all these, you can imagine that there will be 50 circuit breakers feeding all these. Um, I'm going to say here 50. 50. Uh, feeders going out of this service and this is my service panel I'm only concerned about the service panel and I need for the service panel to size the following like we have done before Chris it is number one the panel number two is the overcome friction device number three is one two three uh, four uh, not number three is the feeder and number four Let's put, this is a service, so we, we're going to have a ground. Always in the service, we have a ground, a neutral, and we have a ground, always. And we're going to bond the neutral to the ground, and we're going to bring the ground to Mother Earth. Okay? So then I need to size, uh, let's, how did we do it last time? Let's do this one, one, two, three, four, and let's do this one as five. Okay? Any question, guys, about what we're doing? We're sizing a service. This is service equipment for this lot. Um, I'm sorry, for this park. And we're taking 50 feeders to feed all these pedestals that will be feeding all these manufactured homes. And we're going to size, I'm concerned about the service. The service. Most likely, guys, each one of these will be at least 100 amps, the feeders. And we size for based on 100 amps. That's easy. The neutral and the electro grounding conductor are the same size for the circuit size? No, we're going to want to lump the neutral with number three. Okay. Because the feeder, neutral, yeah, neutral. we're going to lump it. We're going to rate it, but we're going to lump them together in the calculation. You'll see in a second. Mm -hmm. Any question guys about this? What, we, what we're trying to achieve? What we're trying to achieve? Give you a few seconds to sketch it.
Okay. <clears throat> now, the calculation is very simple, guys. We're going to find the following. Um, I call it KVA for the whole site. It's 16,000 multiplied by how many lots do we have? 50. Chris, what did you come up with? 60KVA, right? 160. 800. Oh, 800. Where did they come up with that smart idea? But 800, 800 KVA. That's the demand, <clears throat> the demand load for the whole uh, part. Demand for the whole part. Now the question would be, guys, okay, so that's the demand for the whole part. Now, I don't know about you, but when we size equipment, we size it based on not KVA, we size it based on amp. So I need amp. So to, to, to cash, I call it caching. To cash the KVA into amps, I need to know the voltage. So what was the voltage system that we're using? <clears throat> so I need I equal. 800K, divide this by the voltage is 240 single phase. Um, Ashley, what's the amps? Anybody can help Ashley? <clears throat> anybody do the math? Can anybody help me with the math, guys? I want to remind you guys you're going to get 10 points for participation with Chad. So, how much? A loss of threes? What's the answer? 3,332. Oops, 3,333 amps. Is that good enough? So 3,333 amps. Right? <clears throat> A lot of threes. Lots of threes. <clears throat> Any question guys about this? That's a service coming to the whole building. Service. The whole lot. That's a big service. So we don't use our demand bag. Oh, I'm sorry. Did we, we didn't gosh, it, right? we didn't derate it. Oh. Because you would bring down the 124. That's what I thought, it's too large. Thank you so much, I forgot the demand factor. So, I think Chad is wrong today. Oh, definitely. So this is from 550.31. Um, so if you go to 550.31, you're gonna get this number. This gave, gave us 1800 KVA, right Chris? 1800 KVA. Then you're gonna take the 1800 for 50, this is how we're gonna do it. For 50 um, lots from table 550.31. Yep, 550.31, the derating factor, what's the derating factor? 0.23. So if you guys go to, um, this is just do one one thing here. So I have 50 lots. Where's my 50? 50 is right in here. So um, 23. If you can see, let me go back again out of here, out of this example. From this table, and I want to do it one time. We have 50, so we are right at this location. And my rating factor is 23%, which is 0.23. Thank you, Chris. Should have believed them. So, all right, so then now it's piece of cake. Thank you. Sounded like too big. We take the eight, multiply it by 0.23. Can you imagine sizing a 4,000? 3,033 amp service for the whole lot. That's assu assuming all of them are fully engaged at the same time. So you can, you, now it gives you a, the appreciation for this table. So what would that give you, Chris? 7, 7, 7, 767. 767. Oh, oh no, no. That's less 184. Yeah. 184 KVLA. That's my rate. Derating. So here's my derating. The last thing, guys, is find the actual amp. Amp equal. You take the derated voltage divided by 240. Answer? 767. Thank you. 767 amps. That's, that's. So we went from 3,333 3, amps into 767 amps because of that um, derating factor. 
Now I'm waiting for Chris to say what the heck, who came up with these rating factor chair? Experience. People who are doing it, they go measure after they do them. It's it's really guys accumulated best practice experience. Like that's a tornado, we'll take them away in a couple of weeks anyway. <laughs> then you rewire them. <laughs> then you rewire them. Okay. <laughs> Any question guys about this? 767 amps. Now we're gonna size the one through four, uh, through five, one through five things here. That's piece of cake. So really, the new stuff to remember about the whole calculation here is just this article here, and this table. So all what you need to remember. Everything else after the article in the table, it continues exactly what we did first for a commercial building. Any question, my friends? Let me know when I can go to the next page. The back, you guys are good. Now, my friend and Ashley, you good? Dustin, Oladipo, Chris, and Nick. All right. So let's go find number one. Number one was uh, panel size. Panel size. The panel size, oops. I don't need that. Where it's going. Okay, the panel size is going to be size based on the amps, which is 767. So I can take my 767 amp, take it to <clears throat> Dewalt. Now I'm, I want to remind you this is single phase, 3-12. 3-12. I remember 3 uh, 13. That was cool. 3 dash, actually, this is 760. Do we have an 800? No. Single phase panel. This is single phase panel, size of single phase panel, 600. I can go up to 600 here, so I need to go to 3 13. And if you flip it, 3-13 for single. I want to remind you guys, this is looking at single phase. So please, you're going to be looking at 3-13. 3-13 moves you into the switchboard arena, and that will get you 800. Everybody agree with chat? 800? So this is an 800 amp panel. Single phase 800 amp panel. Single phase 800 amp panel. Everybody can see that one, guys? Right from DeWalt. 3-12, under switchboard and switch gears, single phase, not three phase. And you keep going all the way, I'll give you the next standard as either you go 600 or 800. Obviously, if I, if I don't want to go to court, I would usually go 800. We were just talking about this one this morning, Chris. 800. Okay, so this is my panel. The second thing is over current protection device. Yes, sir. Please. So we do radio for 50, 50 of these homes, right? And now it's peak summer. You know, everybody's on vacation. They've got everything cooking. You know what I mean? Everything plugs in. Would it trip? The yeah. question is, would it trip? Well, these numbers, now my answer for you is these numbers are coming from experience in the field. Um, it wouldn't, based on these numbers. Now, can I make him a trip? Yeah, I can go to every mobile home and tell them, start cooking, turn the air conditioning on, uh, put all the lights on. If you have a couple of heat, yeah, serious, you can trip it. But if based on, and I hate to, uh, to defend these tables, guys, based on normal behavior of people and experience of people who design it over the years, it, it wouldn't, uh, it, this is sufficient enough. Okay. Now, if your own experience at Mishat Kuli have done a, a couple of films, and you burned your fingers a couple of times, and it it, it trips, then you go higher. <clears throat> you know what? That's uh, best practice. It's best practice unless you know better. Okay, so good point though. Um, so then one for the overcap fixture by 767. Um, who am I going to pick up? William, my friend, you're going to take this one to 240.6. What's the next standard from 240.6? Do I have 700? 
Do I have 700 circuit breaker? They're also in 3-12, guys. I have 700. Right? I have 700. In the, oh, but I can't go 700 here because I'm lower. So I can't really, but I can. This, I'm taking a chance of tripping now. So this is really stuck with 800 amps. So we, ha we, hit, we hit the jackpot. Our panel matches the overcome protection device that's going to be protecting it. That's the best way, by the way, to design it. One, two, three, the third one. <clears throat> three, now I need to size cables to carry this baby. Feeders or service, entrance, conductors. I know up to 800 amp, guys, we size based on the load. Up to 800 amp, you can size based on the load. Good practice, engineering work, size based on the overcome protection device. I know if you go 240, that will get tell you up to 800 amp, I can actually size based on 767. Good practice engineering, size based on the overcome protection device for the panels, especially for the panels. So I'm going to do the good practice here. I'm going to take the 800 amp. Um, Chris, I don't know about you, but 800 is too big to carry an amp in one single run. I'm going to panel two sets. That will give me a 400 amp. And if you take this one to the newly married table, 310.15 V16, you can change your name, 75 degree. The newly married table. That will get you how many conductors? Let's do the phase and then we'll go to the neutral. Let's do the phase first. Let's do the phase and then we'll go to the neutral. So I need to, I, I have two sets, two sets of uh, two conductors. Um, and what's the size uh, first? 600. KC am most likely is going to be T H H W because it's underground. Okay, those are the hots. Those are the hots. So the uh, textbook here was discussing outdoor use, outdoor feeder, it's definitely outdoors, and temperature. And underground. Suggesting that you would use. Uh, Okay, for protection. Oh, because the tea doesn't doesn't play well below 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. X T X. Uh, I just you ever H -H -W. They, they discussed that. But X T H W. Yeah. Well, if you're underground, under two feet, <laughs> under two, I go by the code under two feet of dirt. Most likely, how I mean, what's the uh, frosting? Uh, Frost, frost can go down. Yeah, yeah. If it's best practice to use an X, then you you use an X. I um. I don't have any opinion either way, but they're discussing. You said using X instead of X H H W instead of T H H W. Ken, do you have a good rule? A rule of thumb when you like to parallel. Yes. Every time. Every rule of thumb for paralleling, my rule of thumb, every time you, you, the, your conductor is larger than number 500. So go by conductor. Every time your conductor is larger than 500 kcm, that will give you 380 amps, basically. Every time you are larger than 400 amp panel, put it this way. Amp-wise, every time you are larger than 400 amp, you are, you, it's a very good idea to parallel. Here we'd be better off with 300 than these two sets. You can. Well, we have. Uh, we can. Yep. We can. Yep. Uh, We're hitting 400 right at the border. The reason I ask is because when we were doing calc the other day, I paralleled instead of, you know, what you guys did. Yeah. Or, you know, what the class is doing. Yeah. You know, the rule of paralleling, the good rule of paralleling always would. Okay, how many runs? The question is how many runs? When you when you do your runs, almost try to stick with 500 kcm. Don't so like if the conduct like here, I came up with 600 amp one step. I could have gone with five. Well, if I use three sets, that would be less than that. Right. But right at the board, I get I get hung up on the five 600. But but see if I'm to end up with 700 kcm here, definitely definitely I need another run. So use this 400 amp, 500 kcm. 
these are if you go higher AMP or higher than KC 500, most likely parallel. With some little exception, if you're hovering around the right at the 400 or right at the 600 KCM. Can we do the service? Okay, and the neutral. Any question, guys, about the, the phases? These are the two hots. Now, the neutral, we're going to derate the neutral. My neutral is going to be derated. I don't know what the calculation for it, but I'm going to derate based on the 200 amp. So I have. Um, Assuming everything here is going to be neutral, guys. So here's what I'm going to do. Neutral calculation. This is still number three, neutral. Since the neutral are not landing on an over temperature device, you really can use the, the actual size here. They're not landing on an over temperature device. The neutral is not broken, right? It's not tied to a circuit breaker. So I can easily use this number or I can use the 800 amp. So in this case, they're not far away from each other. So I'm going to use the same just because I sized the based on 800 amp, guys. I, I'm, for the neutral, I'm going to use the load. Put it this way, 767. So I have 767 amp. Well, since I paralleled, since I paralleled the hots, what do you think I'm going to do with the neutral? I have to parallel the neutral, but before I parallel the neutral, I need to derate it. I need to go to table 220.61. Uh, is that Chris? The derating the neutral 220.61 or 220.60. Yep, 220.61. <clears throat> yep, the first 200. The portion of unbalanced load excess 200 per four feet of service supplied from a three wire DC or single phase. So this is 220.61B2. 220.61B and 2. Okay, the first 200, leave them alone, don't mess with them. Anything higher than 600, which is 767 minus 200, chop them down by what? 0.7. Anybody going to do the math for me, please? So. From 220.61B2, I need to tell. Don't forget to add 597. 597. Any yeah. second? <clears throat> second? Okay. All right, so then here's my amps. I have 597. Since I paralleled the hots, is it wrong, Chris? You come with something different. Did they get a second? They have two people, right? Okay. <clears throat> so divide by two. But actually, I have no choice but to parallel two now because I parallel the hots, I have to parallel the neutral two. If I did the hots three, you have to put the neutral three. Um, what's the answer? 299 amps. Second? Second, thank you. And then the last thing you're going to do, and I'm going to use it in green here, is you take the 299 amps, take it again to 310.15B16 <clears throat> under 75 degree column, and that will give me one out. Now, here's the moment of truth. If you got less than one out, can you parallel less than one out? No. If you get less than one knot and you're paralleling, you're stuck with one knot no matter what, because you cannot parallel a conductor that's less than the one knot for power. Um, so this one will be one conductor, one knot, and remember it's a two sets of two sets of one conductor, one knot. A W G, A W G, and T H H W or X H H W if it's going to be frozen T H H W. Any question guys? Two sets? Phil, does it make sense? No? Is it multiplier 0.7 or 0.5 on the uh, 767 and 200? Uh, uh, from the 6 <laughs> to 20 to 61? <laughs> Which one are we talking about? I'm sorry. Yeah. 
from where? For this? Yeah, yeah. We should have gotten a second here on that. Okay. 299, yeah, it looks smaller for that one. So 250? 350. 350, thank you. 350 KCL. So two sets of, how did you come up with calculator? Make sense? Oh. Okay, you're parallel four then. You're parallel four. All right, two sets of uh, 350 KCM. Questions? Thank you, guys. So let's go to the next step. I like to draw this just because. So here's my conduit at the end. My conduit at the end. Well, let's do the conduit at the end after we do the equipment running conductor and so forth. Actually, it's easier. Let's do uh, number one, two, three, four. We did four. Four is grounding electrode conductor. You're going to go to table two, 50.66. That's piece of cake. Um, I came up with 600. You take the two sets, multiply it by 600 kcm, give you 1200 kcm. You take the 1200 kcm to table 310. No, not 310. You're going to take it to 250.66. 250.66. And what would you get? That's easy, straightforward for the ground electrode conductor, guys. 250.66. What do you get? 250.66. Anything higher than over 1100, you get three off anyway. You can. There is no way you can go. Anything higher than 1100 kcm, you're stuck with one conductor, three off A W G cover bare or insulate or uh, insulated. Any question is about that? First, did you come up with the same answer? No? No? Okay. The last one, number five, is main bonding jumper. This is from 250.28 and table 250.66. If you guys go to 250.28, if you go, I'm sorry, uh, Jackson, did we do anything wrong? No. Okay. You guys are keeping us on our toes here. <laughs> you and William today. Okay. Everybody knows what the grounding conductor guys, that one that's going directly to the steel of the building or the ground rod or with exception, ground rod, there's an exception. If it's going directly to the ground rod, you don't have to go higher than number six. But we don't know if it's going direction to the ground rod. It could be going to a bar and inside the building, and from the building, it goes to the ground rod. So that's why we start with this sizing. All right, so we, we got four. Main bonding jumper. Uh, the main bonding jumper, guys. So main bonding jumper. So if you go to um, chapter two, I want to go quick to 250. Actually, let's go to this side. Start from the back. 250, that's the grounding electrode conductor. We're going to go to the, which page is that? Um, 250.66, we're almost there here. Thank you. All right, so for the grounding electrode conductor, guys, it was so easy. You come right in here, and since we're vested in the cover company, you found it, right? Straightforward. I want to remind you, Chris asked me this question. He said, Chad, why did you multiply them? If you read this note, guys, right in here, this is very, if you have not highlighted this, please do so. It says, it, where multiple sets of service conductors are used as permitted, except the law, the equivalent size of the largest service conductor shall be determined by 
the largest sum of the areas of the corresponding conductors of each set. That's why I multiply them by two. Does that make sense? Meaning if you parallel in conductor, you take one size and multiply it by how many sets you parallel. Does that make sense? The reason why I highlighted this one, because when we went here, we multiply it by six, by two. Can you guys see that? Why we multiplied by two? Why did I multiply by two, Chad? Based on that rule. We multiplied by two based on this rule right in here, that little highlight at the bottom. And oh, by the way, we are in table um, 250.66. Any question guys about this table? And why did we use the cover, not the aluminum? Just because your default is copper. But this is for the grounding electrode conductor. Any question, Phil? Does it make sense? I'm going to go to the main bonding jumper. The main bonding jump, jumper, guys, uses the same table, except I want to remind you, if you go higher than 1100 kcm on the main bonding, on the grounding electrode conductor, you're stuck with 3 out no matter what. Grounding electrode conductor, 3 out no matter what. After over 1100 kcm. Main bonding jumper, they change the calculation. So I'm going to go to 250.28 um, all the way to 250.28. Um, uh, almost there, 250.32, 250.33. Um, Can you guys see to 250? If you are not there, please highlight this one. This will make your life easier. 250.28, which page is that? Page 106. Page 106, NEC, 250.28. They will tell you about the material and everything else. It has to be continuous. It could be cover or aluminum and whatever. But the most important thing I want to highlight is the size, D. And more than the size, I want to highlight um, this one up to here. They will tell you to use 250.66. And uh, by the way, um, if you are... Um, I don't know if I can use a different indicating here. All right. So if you are higher, here's my, my favorite. If you are higher, does it want to do it now? Okay. So if, if the one what I'm going to do, let me do it. I'm do here. Okay. So if you are, there you go, all the way. So up to here. And then if you're higher than 1100 kcm, copper or aluminum, 1750, they want you to multiply the service by this amount by 12 and a half percent this is extremely important guys extremely important for the main bonding jumper so you take your sets add them up multiply them by 12 and a half percent if it's it, only if you are higher than 1100 kcm does that make sense up to 1100 kcm guys the the grounding is your conductor as well as the main bonding jumper are the same they're basically the same size Okay. Any question, guys, about this? Any question about that? This is very important to highlight. Are you multiplying the, are you uh, adding the areas together or the, the value of the conductor? Together? You're adding the KCM together. Okay. So if you have one out with one out, the area. the area is the KCM. You look at the square inch area from table eight of the 600 kcm. Um, can we discuss this one later? Because I don't want to diverge in that one. I mean, uh, if they're using it differently, then the whole industry is wrong because we've been using it for uh, how many years? Uh, so they use the kcm, the, that's the area. Um, so what if you're not in the kcm world? Then you're going to go to table chapter to chapter nine, table eight, and find the KCM from there. Chapter nine, table eight will give you the KCM for every, for one odd, because you can't you can't parallel less than one odd. Mm -hmm. So one odd, two odd, three odd, four odd, up to four odd. You're going to find them from chapter um, nine, table eight. Well, KCM is, is the same thing as square inches, except for meters. Yes, because it's rounded, rounded into the um, mill. 
into the melt area. Okay, so you take the two here, multiply it by six kcm equal 1200 kcm. Since the 1200 guys is more than 1100 kcm from 250.28, then since this is more than 1100 kcm, I need to do the following. I need to take 0.125 multiplied by 1200 k. What's the answer for this? Chris, did you get the 1200 kcm times? Everybody knows what where 0.12 came to be from the 12 and a half percent. Thank you, 150 even? 150, 150 kcm. <clears throat> I have a little problem, what's 150? What size is 150? Do we have a size 150? We have 250, but we don't have 150, right? So I need to go translate the 150 kcm into actual lingo that we know. What is 150? Well, they don't make a 150 kcm, right? I'll switch in a second here. Okay, so I'm going to take the 150 because it's not language that we know. I take the 150 KCM, take it to chapter number nine, table number eight. Can you guys go to chapter nine, table eight? Chapter nine, table eight, and find what's that 150 equal. Chapter nine, table eight. Okay, chapter 9, table 8, I'm almost there, chapter 5A, there you go, chapter 9, table 8. If you guys go to chapter 9, table 8, um, here's, uh, everybody knows chapter 9, table 8, we used it many times, so you're going to, table 8, chapter 9, right, everybody, it's page, um, page uh, 721, 721. <laughs> Now, this is what you're going to be looking, guys. You're going to be looking at the circular mill right here. Okay, so I'm going to, I need 150. I want to remind you, look, um, Nick, can you just see here? I have 105.6 kcm here. That's low. Uh, my next is 133.1 kcm. Then the only one that I can get me, the 150 or more, is 167.8 kcm. Everybody can see that? And that translates into a lingo that we all know, which is what? Riyadh. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Because the language that we're using. Riyadh. Everybody can see that? If I can't even capture, there you go. Riyadh. Everybody knows how to use this table, guys, if it's not a standard. So we go back again. And that baby will be Riyadh. That baby will be three off. Right. I don't want to do that, Chad. There you go. Now how am I going to get that? My. There you go. I just, so that'll be three out. One conductor, three out, A, W, G, copper. Okay, so I like to draw that circle here, guys. Here's what your conduit is going to look like when you fold them. You're going to have two conduits. First, can you size them for us, please? If you have a chance. Here's one hot, two hots, and here's one, new, one uh, the other hot. Oops, this is a neutral. Um, and this is the other hot, and this is the third hot, and the last one is going to be the neutral, right? And so I'm going to use the neutral. What's one neutral size did we came up to 250 or what was the neutral size, uh, Phil? 250 or 350? 350. 350. 350 kcm, and the uh, phase is here. Each one of them was 600. 600 kcm. Press can you size them? All of them are THHW and the conduit is PVC Schedule 40. The conduit is PVC Schedule uh, Schedule 80. Use Schedule 80, will you? Yeah. Okay, so then you can size. Here's what they're going to look like. Two conduits with these conductors. 
and and Chris three is three and a half. Three and a half. So that would give me three point five inch. They're single face. Yeah, they're they're single face. So the two two is six hundred. One is three fifty. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you. Any question guys about this? Any question? Now, I don't want to do another example about the lots, guys. If if it's really the same, if I give you another 100 lots now, would it change the difference? You do the same calculation step by step. Any question before I move into um, recreational vehicle calculation? Different topic. I'm going to give you a break, though. Any question, guys? So if you want to give yourself examples, add we did 50 lots, make 100 lots and do the same calculation. 200 lots, same calculation. Okay, five minutes break. You have uh, an RV location lot, and you need to do the recreational vehicle RV calculation. And my RV place has the following. Let's do it this way. This is how they do it, please. I have... Um, so for recreational vehicle guys, they go by sites. By sites. Um, here's what we have. We have site number one. I only have a 20 um, Let's start with the largest. I have 50 M, 50 M receptacle. So this is the place where you're going to have 50 M. And let's do a, a table. It's really nice if you do it in a table. 50 M. The symbol on the left. RV. Your left. This one? For example, the word EX, there's a circle with something in the middle of it. This one? Yeah. This is number one. Oh, thank you. Does it look number like? Okay, there's a number one. Okay. Number two. <laughs> number two, I have a 30 slash 20 receptacle. Okay. And number three, this is 30. I have number three, I have only 20 M receptacle. These are all receptacles for the site, guys. So you can plug in your RV and recept. Cool. And the last one is uh, one, two, three, four. Since Chad is a, a tree hugger, um, we're going to put people who can't afford to have an RV, um, like uh, all the D boys, all the D boys, took an RV. We're going to give a tent. We're going to give him a tent. So he can plug in his tent. Don't tell him that I said that. So this is for all of you, but 20 amp reset for, you have to put next to a tent. Read it. Yeah, the code says for tent. The rest of them for RVs. This one for a tent. For all of you, boy. That's camping. Don't ask me. So we are, where's all of you, Not here. So we have recreational vehicle, guys, site. We need to do the calculation for the whole site. Um, so this is uh, 551, 551, 551. Okay, basic calculation. So this is recreational vehicle. We're doing it for the park, the whole park, for the, the whole park. We have all the, does that make sense, guys? We have a 50 amp receptacle for the rich people. Um, and 30, 20, 30 amp, you can plug it 20 or 30 amp for your RV, bigger load. And you have then 20 amp only. You no, know, the loser guys kind of middle class. And then the poor people like Chad, they don't have an RV, they plug their tent with a 20 amp. Literally, these are for tent. So we're going to size the, the, the thing. So this is the old receptacle that we have. The second thing I want to have, guys, up here is the number, the number of these receptacles. These are the receptacles and with their type. The second thing is the number of these receptacles. 
the number of these receptacles that we have, which means the number of the locks that you can pull in and plug in, right? Every receptacle, an RV can plug in only one receptacle. So for the 50, I want to just throw these numbers for you. For the 50, I have 30 locations with, uh, I want to avoid putting 30 here. I, I want to have um, 25 locations with 50 amp receptacle. Do you have a problem with that? You can pull with 50, 25. For 30, 20, I have 15 locations. For 20 amp only, I have 10 locations. And for 20 tenths, I have five locations. So you can see we're geared towards the rich people with the bigger RVs. Okay, cool. Any question guys about this? So these, everything that I'm giving you so far is given. That's how you, you go to the park and they, that's how, how many lots they want. They want 25 lots that has 50 receptacles on them and 50 lots with 30, 20 and 10 for 20 and 10 for 5 tenths. Our people will put a 10 for you here. One, actually five of them, one for you and one for me and three for the, uh, the other people. Okay. Any question guys about the given? Okay, let's do the calculation. The calculation are straightforward um, from um, 551.73a. You're going to go to find exactly what the numbers are going to go to 551.73a. If you guys go to 551.73a, um, which I wouldn't be shy to show you what they're saying here. Um, if I can get to faster than you are, uh, K551, anybody's there before me? Anybody's there before you, friend? 551, um, 73. Go, 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 Chad, before the catcher. 73. Here's a recept receptacle, guys, that they talk about 50 and 20 amp. 20 amp and so forth, the receptacles that we just pulled in. Uh, let's go to 75. Um, let's go to uh, 73, right here. This is where I would like you guys to be, if you don't mind, please. This is page, um, page 501, 501. Okay, so if you guys read this, the whole paragraph here, it would say the first... Um, the receptacle that running at 50, um, the 50 amp receptacle, by the way, this system is for two, you can use it for uh, 208 or 120. These are very important. So I can have a 208, 120, or 120, 240 system. Either one, if I can have uh, for 50 receptacles, 50 amp receptacles, which is most likely 240, I need 3600 uh, volt amp. So everybody can see for 50, they want you to allocate 36 uh, volt, uh, 3600 volt amp. For 2030, can you guys see that? At 2400 volt amp. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. And for the Mr. Aladibo's tent, I'm sorry, for, for, the, nine, for the 50 amp, 9600. For... Uh, so 50 amp, 960 amp, uh, site prefer 50 or 120, blah, 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 supply 364, the 2030, and 24 for the 20 only. And where's Aladibu's tent? Aladibu's tent is right here, 600 for Aladibu's tent. Aladibu, can I pick on you today? Right here. Can you guys see that? These are the numbers that I'm going to be pulling out of this. And put in the in my um, my equation here. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to my example here. So the first thing thing is the ninety six. So this one, uh, Chris, how many how many sites do I have? I have twenty five multiplied by the twenty five by uh, ninety six hundred volt amp. Everybody knows where the ninety six hundred came to be. Ninety six hundred. Yep. The second one has 3,600. I have 15 of them. Multiply it by 3,600. 
The third one, the 20 amp, they want you, the 20 amp is 2400. So I have 10 multiplied by 2400, okay? And uh, Aladipo is 10, he has, uh, he has air conditioning in it and all this stuff. They want to give you 600. Cool? Everybody knows where these numbers came to be? Every, all these numbers, Chris, are given from the code. All these numbers are given from the code. The red. Did they do them right? Now I need two a gentlemen or a gentleman and lady to agree on the answers for all this stuff before we add them up. Do you guys mind if, uh, if uh, you give me the answer here? So what's the first one? In K Can you do them in KVA, guys? Let's do the answer in KVA. So divide by 1,000. What's the first answer? 25 times 9,600. Ashley, did you guys come up with the answer? I need two people to... 240k. Second? Yeah, second. 240k. Thank you. Uh, the second one? 54. 54. I have second. 54k. Everybody knows we're dividing by 1,000, right? The third one? 20. 24. 20. 4K. The third one, the tenth, 4K, 3K. Just calculate that in my brain. Okay, so okay, so that's easy. That's easy. And I want you to do add all these tenths and locations. Add these 25 plus 15, 30, 40, 50, 55, right? These are 55 sites. When you do your 55 sites, right? These are 55 sites. Then you're going to go to the directing factor for 55 sites. Um, and the second thing, can you guys add all these KVAs all together now? Add all the KVAs. 1053. No second? 320.5. 321. 321 KVA. Anybody came up with something different? Do I have a second? Okay, a third. Good. 321 KVA. Add them up. That's easy. The last thing we need to do, guys, is derate. Uh, Nick, remember how we, because we have multiple sites, highly unlikely that you're going to be cooking and running the air conditioning all at the same time. So let's go find the derating factor for, um, for how many 55 sites. Okay, let's go to the code and find the, re the rating factor for 55 sites. The second thing you guys have to pay attention is right here. This is in page uh, 501. Okay, so the de uh, demand factor for site feeders and service, blah, 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 for the park sites. How many do I have? 55, right? 55 is, you agree with me, uh, Chris, Dev. oops, 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 no, not this, Chad. It's more than uh, uh, 36. Right? So what's my derating factor? 41%. Everybody knows where the... So you go back to how many lots do you have or sites, and you derate based on the sites. Because highly unlikely all of them are going to be energized at the same time. Cool? Everybody knows where the 41% came to be? That's it. So you came back here and go back to my uh, calculation. Then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take the... I'm going to call this is demand. Demand load for all of them equal, um, I'm sorry, I forgot, what is it, 0.41? No, 0.41. 0 0.41 multiplied by 321K. Do I have uh, somebody to do the math for me, please? 132. 132KVA. That's my demand number that I go to town with. 132KVA. Okay, so I want to remind you, quick reminder of the, of the table that we brought this number here. Okay, this number here is coming from table uh, 551.73a. .73a, okay, just if anybody's wondering. Table 551.73a, the derating factor. That's it. Up to this point, really, this is the new knowledge. The rest of them is what? 
piece of cake. Now we're going to size the service and all this good stuff. So I'm going to fly through the rest. That's it. Now in the test, the only thing I'm going to change, guys, for you is this number, the number of lots, the number of uh, sites. Same calculation, stay the same. Chris, find me a calculator that does that now. Just made it. No. So, so a calculator that does all these, you just plug in the different type of sites, basically. Because everything here, really, nothing changed other than the number of sites and the rating factor. You can make a, an Excel sheet that has a number of sites, blah, 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 add the number of sites, add, find the rating factor, and do the calculation for you. These numbers, 96, 36, 24, 6, does not, 6 does not uh, count. Okay, let's go size the, we do all this, guys, to do one thing. So the same thing that Chad has been doing all the time, these are the feeders that's going, this is my service, and I'm going to have my panel here, and guess what I'm going to be sizing? I'm going to be sizing the same thing, number one, number two, number three, and neutral, this is my neutral, this is my ground, I like these to be always green. Uh, this is my equipment ground conductor, number four, and number five. Right? We're repeating ourselves into it. Same thing, the service. We're sizing really the same thing, the service. Okay, piece of cake, I think. So you're going to take, find the I, I equal, what was the... Uh, you have a short, short term memory. 132. 132, we take the 132K. Okay, now what voltage system do you guys want to burn these at? You have two options. You can run them 12208 or you can run them 12240. Do you want to do 12208 or 12240? Pick one. 208 because we haven't done that. Let's run this 120 slash 208 single phase. Single phase. So single phase, we're running them at this service. Uh, divide this by 208. What's the difference? Otherwise, you divide it by 240. That's all. Single phase. And we're doing a single phase service for this. What would that give me? What would that give you guys, please? Anybody can come up the app here? Two. Six thirty second thirty five and perfect and then let's go ahead and find number one. Number one is panel size. Panel size. I'm gonna run through this six hundred thirty five. Take this one to Dewalt um, three dash. Uh, probably this is three dash thirteen. What's the size of a panel? 800 amp. Do I, I don't have a 700 amp panel. So I'm stuck with uh, 800 amp panel. Okay. The second thing, number two, over current protection device. The same number, guys, which is 635. Take it to 240.6. That will give me 700. 700 amp. That's a difference, huh? 700 amp. That's it. 700 amp service. Any question, guys? Let me know when I can go to the next size of conductors. Move, yes, no. Okay. Now, the last thing is number four, uh, or well, number three. Number three, hot, uh, the hot conductors or uh, uh, service entrance conductors. Not even close to a conductor. Service entrance conductors. We came up with 700 amp. I 
don't know about you, but I'm on the parallel tool. That will give me 350, 350 amp. You take it to a 310.15 B16 under 75 degree column, and I guarantee you that you're going to have two sets of two conductors. Each one of them is 500 kcm. Right. Right. I know that it's 500 kcm carry 380. That's typical. 500 kcm. Piece of cake. Neutral. This is the hot. The neutral. What was the size of the um, first? What was the actual size amp wise? Um, 635 is still. 635 amp. The same thing divided by two. What would that give you, please? Three, 317. 317 amp. I'm sizing the neutral, guys. Any question about sizing the phase? Straightforward. Did you come up with something a little different? I'm going to use the calculator in a second to justify it. I know I told you I will, which I will. Okay, 317 amps, right? 317. You're going to take this one to the 310.15 B16, 75 degree column. What we get? Do we have 500 again or 400? 400. 400. So I have two sets, two sets of 400 kcm. Oh, we didn't do it though. Can oh. you size the hot and you 700 when you size the neutral and you 635? Yeah, because they're not landing on an, they're not landing on, um, oh, because yeah. on an over temperature device. But I made a mistake though. 637 amp, we need to derate. Right. 220.61. So the first 200, leave them alone. Anything 637 minus 200 times 0.7. And I'm flying because we've done that many times. Yes, sir. The over temperature device. Why do we match them? Because we're landing the conductor on a circuit breaker. It's a good idea to match the overcomplication device. Good idea up to 800. After 800, you have to. After 800, higher than 800, it's not a good idea. It's a must. Okay, seven, uh, Chris. This here. Anybody can help me? 200 plus 637. Minus 200 times 0.7. No. 5.05. 0.7. 5 0.5. Anybody dare to disagree with my friend Ashley? Oh, this is 6.35. 6.35. Who wrote the 6.37 here? Did you do that, Chris? 6.35, thank you. Short, short term memory is getting... Second of 505, thank you. The last thing that I'm gonna go size that baby, 505, drop two at, at it, that will give me two, deck, divide by two, 505, two, 253, 53 amp. Okay, so good. Then take the 253 amp. Don't forget to take it to 310.15 B16. Oh, they give you two sets of one conductor. Uh, what is that? 250. 250 KC and M. Done. So I have my hot 500 and my, my neutral. Did we do something wrong, Jackson? No. I get nervous when you guys, huh? when I, especially when I see uh, you're big, just do it, man. <laughs> I'm flying through these guys because it's just to repeat itself. <laughs> Phil, anything wrong here? Okay. Phil, I'm going to get to the calculator in a second, but let me just finish the la last two and then I'll get to the calculator. Okay, so we got the neutral, we got the hot. 
The last thing we're going to find is the grounding electrode conductor, which you guys are an expert in now. Can I move? No? Stop? Slow? Good. All will be poor. Number four. Number four, my friend, is this is the grounding electrode conductor. 250.66. <clears throat> Take the. <laughs> Uh, Nick, did we come up with 500? Yes, we did. One, two sets, right? Yeah. Two sets times 500 K give you 1,000 K. We hit the jackpot here. Take the 1,000 K CM to table 250.66. That will give you a number. One at? Uh, three at? Two at. Two at? Okay. Two at. How many? One. What type of an installation? AWG. Here, it's good enough. Number five, same calculation, guys. Main bonding jumper. This is 250.28. And table 250.66. Piece of cake. Two times 500 equal 1,000. KCM. Take the 1,000. KCM to the table, table 250.66. And Chris, because we are less than 1100 KCM now, we're going to stop with the table. So what would that give you? Two watts. One conductor, two watts, right? So these are the same, up to and including. Sir Jackson? Yep. Two times. I don't know who wrote the A. Give me the uh, code number for your neutral calculation. 250.61. I'm sorry, 220.61. Right. 220. The one I'm reading on 220.61 just multiplies it by 0. 0.7. Yeah, that's what we did. Now it's a 200 odd first. Yeah, there's, if you read the B, what is it, BA? 220. That, uh, okay, so the B2. Yeah, B2. It says the portion okay. of, yeah, you see it? Okay. So don't elaborate. <laughs> the, the top? Okay. All right, so based on my friend. Um, I mean, just the B says 70%, and then the 2 adds the. Yeah, it's it. No, I gotcha, gotcha. I'm going to use the calculator based on um, request from my friends. Okay, let's go do the calculator, guys. Here's my calculator handy here. Let's go do um, uh, the service. Okay, ready for the calculator service? All right, let's start your calculator. Start your engine. Um, first of all, go convert yourself to 75 and make sure you're single phase. Everybody knows, make sure your calculator is single phase 75. Why 75? Because we, our equipment, look at it, right? We know it's our equipment is getting higher than 100 amp. 75 single phase, right? Cool? 75. Everybody knows how to do single, single phase. Set 75 and set 1 is change it to single phase. Okay. Now, what's... Um, What's the amp of the over competition device that we have? 700, right? So I'm, I'm going to do the 700. Um, oh, I'm going to do the 700. So the service is 700. 7, 0, 0, and hit the amps. Really, regardless of the voltage, all what you care is about 700, KC, uh, 700 amps, right? How many sets do you want to parallel? Because I know 700, I can't carry it with one conductor. I need to parallel two because so I just hit 700 amp. That's what I did. Then I'm going to parallel. How many I'm going to parallel? Two. Hit two and go to P A R S Z, parallel size. And you should come up with 500, right? Isn't that what we came up with? 500 KCM copper. And oh, by the way, everybody's defaulted to copper too. If you came up with a wrong answer, it might be defaulted to aluminum, copper, right? 
So you put the overcompletion device and put how many sits you in the parallel and hit the, they hit this button, parallel size, parallel size. Make sense? Parallel size. Now for the neutral, the neutral is different though. I don't know if we're gonna get the neutral. The neutral, any question about the, the, the phase? Let me go clear, 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 clear. Now a neutral is 505. Remember, 505. I don't know if we're gonna get the same answer here. Amp 505, how many sets I want? I want two sets and I need to parallel size, 250. Exactly the same, 250. You put the amp that you're gonna size and you hit the how many sets and you hit pedal. Cool? Everybody's okay with that? We came up with 250 copper and, two, and 500 KCM copper for the service. Let me to repeat it one more time. Repeat which one? The 250 or? Okay, clear. Before you start any other, hit clear, 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 clear. Okay, now I'm gonna do the, the uh, 505, right? 505, hit amp because these are amps. So make sure they are 505 amps. Then uh, how many sets do you want to parallel? Two sets, hit two, and then go hit parallel size, 250 KCM. Cool? So that's 250. That's in terms of a conductor size. The grounding electrode, let me try to do the grounding electrode. The grounding electrode, guys, I don't know how we're going to do that one because we're paralleling. Um, okay, so let's say uh, here's my um, 2000. I don't know if it's going to allow you to do that. If we don't, um, I have 1000 KCM. K and wire size, okay, 1000 KCM, and hit ground. I came up with two watt, the same way, one more time. To find the grounding electrode conductor, uh, Rob, my friend, make sure you take the 500 and multiply it by two, because we're parallel. So you have to know that we're parallel. So you take the 500, here's my 500, multiply it by two, equal, 1000 make sure you hit k and hit wire so oops i didn't do that let's do it again one 1000 just put the 1000 here hit the k right kilo and hit the wire so that will give you uh 1000 kcm and then hit the ground that's all and you get the grounding electrode conductor the main bonding jumper you can get it up to up to 1100 kcm higher than 1100 kcm it doesn't calculate it you have to do it by hand shall we size the conduit for this baby okay all the people do you want me to repeat that one more time anybody else okay let's go size the conduit let's go back to my conduit size um, before we do conduit, guys, let's go check what conduit size we have. Okay, what conduit size do we need to do? Let's say I want you guys to use PVC Schedule 80. We're going to go size PVC Schedule 80. I want to remind you that inside the PVC Schedule 80, there are two things. There are two conductors, number 500, KCM, THHW, and one conductor, Number uh, 250, 250, KCM, THHW. So this is what we're sizing a conduit, right? One set, two conduits, one set. Any question about that? I'm just pulling the info from here and from here, guys. You can't put them all on the same thing. All of them? Bad idea. You can, I guess, if you can find a conduit, can I'm probably you can at this size. Not a good idea though. You need to derate then. Right. Yeah, the question is, can I put them? Yes, but you, then you get into derating because we have four kind. Not a good idea. Yes, you can, but not a good idea. Why do I elaborate on your answers when I just said it? Said... Okay, let's go size them. Cool? All right, so first thing we need to do, guys, if, uh, if, you, have the, if you have the guide in the back of your calculator, really cool because it has it in page 60, 55, page 55, or you can follow with me. The first thing I want to make sure what conduit do I have. If you look at the conduit, I have EMT. So I want to go change the conduit into PVC before I do anything. 
Um, they have numbers, guys. In the back of your calculator, they have numbers. All these conduits. So not, PVC is actually number um, number nine. So if I hit, um, I think nine set conduit. If you hit nine set conduit, that will change the conduit into uh, PVC. How do I know it's nine? How do I know it's nine? Right in the back of the calculator. Thank you. Not just yeah, it's in the back here, Chad. No, it's not even that. Hmm. Why do you guys always challenge me? Yeah, in the back of the calculator here too, it says nine. All right, so everybody set the calculator PVC schedule 80. Why 80? Because Chad says so. Service most likely it's schedule 80. All right, let's go put the con the conductors. Doing the conductors is tricky, so you have to do it exactly in the same order, guys. I'm going to start with the 500. Here's my 500. And it's a K, so hit K, right? Make sure everybody's copper, single phase 750 here. So 500K, and after you put 500 and hit K, hit the wire size. Now it will tell you 500 copper, right? Cool, up to this step. All right, now, how many of them do I have? Two. And what insulation? So everybody put the 500 here. The next step is you're gonna go, how many of them do I have? I have two of them. So you're gonna hit the number two, hit two, cool. After you hit two, you're gonna to go to pick which insulation. We decided not to listen to Chris and use XHHW and we use THHW. So this one, okay? So you see it's THW. This is where critical to do it exactly what I did. Hit it the first time, then you have to hit it the second time. So hit one more time, it'll give you it'll give you the fill of the of this conductor, the, the, the wire area. Make sure you hit it twice. Otherwise, it wouldn't work if the conductor if the conduit if the conduit has different size conductors. You hit it twice and you saw the wire size. Everybody got that? Okay, now let's go to the second set of conductor. The second set is 250. So now two five zero. Uh, same thing, it's K, and the same thing, it's wire. Now, I'm telling the, cal the calculator, I have another conductor, different size, 250. Cool. Now, how many of them do I have? One. So, I'm going to hit one. Okay. And I need to go pick up the insulation. What type of insulation? THHW. Up to this point, you hit once, then you have to hit again. Hit it again, twice. That will give you the cross-section area for the second conductor, the one conductor 250. When you hit twice and you see this, then you go hit the conduit. Now we're going to go hit the conduit. Can you see the conduit here? Hit the conduit. Three inch. What did you come up with, Chris? Three inch. Is that? Okay. So three inch. So the, my conduit here is three inch conduit. My conduit, three inch conduit. It comes handy. And it's really tricky because they're different sizes. If they're all the same size, guys, very easy. You just put the, si the size and then the number, hit the insulation, go hit the conduit. Any question, guys? So we size the conductors, the ground electrode conductor, and the main bonding jumper, and the conduit directly from the calculator. Any question? So that's basically the size for the, do you guys have a stomach for another half an hour? Just half an hour, I promise. After a break, shall we? I want to finish the marina, just half an hour, promise. Yes, can you? Okay, let's take five minutes break and I really want to do one half an hour, the marina, and then I'm done. Done with chapter 11. Cool? All right, let's take a quick break here. Okay, let's um, let's go back into the NE, NEC code. And if you do me a favor, I'm going to go to the marinas. Everybody um, knows 
the marinas. This is where you, um, where Chris's 40-foot yacht is sitting and being plugged. Um, so that's where we're going to be sizing for. So do me a favor. If you guys go to page, page uh, 513, first of all, we're right here in the marinas and boat yards. We have a marina or a boat yard, and we need to uh, size a service that feeds all these pedestals that's going to be feeding all these uh, boats, right? Eventually, you'll have receptacles, and the boats are plugged into these receptacles. These receptacles are fed from branch circuits that's coming from a service. So I want you to highlight 555 five, five, marinas and boat yards. And for calculations, I'm not going to get into everything in the code. For the calculation's sake, I would like you guys to highlight load calculation for service and feeder, this one, and M right in here, and it will tell you, so when you go there, it will tell you you have to use this demand table right here, and also I want you to highlight the note number one here. So does that make sense? So 5512, load calculation. It will tell you you can load the, do the load calculation based on 220, no problem. The amps and apply table 250.12, no problem. Um, and this is the demand factor that we're going to be using. Now, um, this is really interesting. It says these demand factors may be inadequate for us. Look at this. I, I like that one here. Uh, Chris, look at that one at the top. It says uh, demand factor may be inadequate in areas of extreme hot or cold temperature. We are the cold. Um, with loaded circuits for air conditioning. That's exactly what you said, Nick, air conditioning. So, well, that's just an FYI, not enforceable, So, but just keep it in mind. I want you guys to know another thing is um, the neutral here. Can you guys see that one? It says the demand factor specified in 220.61b shall not be required, uh, permitted. This tiny little note at the top here, it says if you're doing using this table, do not direct the neutral again. Very important. So that's why when I'm going to go size a neutral now, I'm going to size full neutral. Everybody knows why full neutral? Can you see where I highlighted that little deal here? Um, right in here, it will tell you the one 220.61B, the one that we've been using, please don't use it if you're using the demand factor of this table. Cool? So when we size the neutral, we'll size full neutral because of that one. The second thing, guys, is the, so if I have, um, let's just say I have eight receptacles in the area. The eight, the demand factor is 90. If I have 50 receptacles, the demand factor is uh, 50, and so forth. So that's the demand factor that you're going to apply to the receptacles. We'll take this, we'll take uh, care of this one in a second here. Let's go put the example. Everybody highlight this area? Down a little bit, okay. Highlight the bottom. The bottom says if you have a receptacle rated for two amps, use the highest amp. I'll show you in a second here. All right, so let me go back. Um, uh, where was I here, Chad? Right here. Let's go take this example. So marinas. Example number three. Example number three. And board yards. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Article five, five, five. Okay, so let's take the example, this, this example here. And um, because we're going to do some calculation here. Okay. So I'm going to have this one is receptacle. Here's the receptacle that I have. I have 50 amp receptacle at 250 volt. I have 30 amp receptacle at 250 volt. Okay. These are receptacles I have that we're going to plug the equipment with. And I have 30, I have uh, 20 amp at 250 volt. And I have, these are typical, what you use in these areas. 
and I have the chief and the poor people that chaired the um, three foot boats. So they make them three foot boats for chaired. They can plug them in, no problem. Go ahead, we'll give you one, one. So we don't feel excluded. Okay, these are different type of receptacles that I have. Um, I have a 50 amp plug. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. These are plugs you plug the boat, 50 amp, big boys. Uh, running at 250, 250 means 240. The receptacles are rated for 250, but the system is 240. And I have 30 amp uh, and 20 amp and 20 amp. The difference between the two 20s, guys, one of them running at 250 and the other one is 120 for the for the poor people. So they, they feel not ex excluded. Okay, the second thing here is the numbers. Okay, let's uh, start with... 50 amp because we gear to the rich people they have money so we're going to give them uh, how many of these receptacles we'll put in this yard uh let's uh, throw a number 20 i don't like to use 20 because i use them as amps give me any number other than these numbers 21 let's use 21 receptacle here 30 amp 250 how many receptacles you guys want to put in this area number 19 19 of these uh 20 amp 250 10. Uh, yeah, 10 is our number here. Yeah, good. How about 20 amp 120 for the poor and the restless? 15. Okay, here's a 15. All right. So this is a design. You have to know how many of these receptacles we're going to put in them. So we're we're tilted toward the wretch. They have big boats. All right. So that's up to this point. We're cool. Then the second thing to do the calculation, guys, I want to remind you this system is. 240 slash 120 volt system. 240 slash 120. So we're going to have hot one, hot two. Hot one, hot two. Since, the, since they're receptacle, Ashley, some of them will go in hot one to neutral, and others will be hot two to neutral or hot one, hot two. It's single phase system. Okay, let's go with this. I have 21 receptacles. So this is where we're going to be monkeying around to, to balance the system. So I, want, I hope you're giving me a number that's, that's even so it's, it's balanced here. Okay, Chris, I have 50 receptacles, 21 receptacles, each of them are 50. Mm -hmm. So these receptacles will be seen by both, both the huts, right? Because they're 250. So this will be a 21 times 50 and also 21 times 50. Everybody knows why they go under the two hots because they're going to be connected to where? They're going to be connected to the two hots. So hot one will see with 50 amp coming out of it, and hot two will see 50 amps because it's connected to hots, 250. With me? Okay, let's go to the 30. Do you agree with me that 30 is also 250? So I have 19 of them multiplied by 30 and 19 of them multiplied by 30. What I'm trying to do, guys, I'm trying to balance the amps on the two hots. Since it's single phase, I'm going to balance the amps into two hots. I want to put this almost the same amount of amps on each hot. If they are 250, they're balanced because they're coming from the two hots. The problem becomes if they're 120. Okay? All right, let's go to the other 20. I have 10 here multiplied by 20. And 10 here multiplied by 20. 10 multiplied by 20. The last one, our depot, my friend, you decided to use 15. I wish you used 16. It would be easy to split them. I have 20 amp at 120. Do you guys agree with me if it's 120 is going to be coming either from hot one to neutral or from hot two to neutral or split between hot one and hot two? So if I have 50 receptacles, and I need to connect them to hot one and hot two. Do you think I would go throw them all in one hot, or should I split them evenly? Split them evenly. So our depot, if you split 15 evenly, you're going to go 8, 7. You can't go half a receptacle. You have a receptacle or full receptacle. So I'm going to put uh, eight receptacles here. Let me use a different color here, because that's really the, the, the difference. Eight receptacle here multiplied by 20 amp. The leftover will be what? Seven receptacles multiplied by 20 amp. You see, the only difference is the red one. Because they want 20. Anything 250 goes across the two hots. No problem. All right, so now we're going to add them up. That's what we're doing. We're going to add them up. 
and see what we come up with. So we're going to add up. Um, I need somebody with good math skills to multiply all of them and add them up. Uh, well, I will add them up right in. Uh, well, shall we do the calculation here, you guys, or you guys do the calculation yourself? I'm, for the sake of the time, I want somebody guys to add everything under each one and give me the answer. And two people to agree, or a second or a third. Yeah. I have 1,980 amps here. Anybody second? Second, third, fourth? Okay. The second leg? 1,960 amps. Any second, third? Second, third. Okay. Can you guys see the legs are not completely balanced, but they're balanced enough? Because Aladibu decided to have an extra receptacle on one leg. Okay, that's it. Then the next is I'm going to go the weight based on how many receptacles do I have uh, on each leg. So let's go count the number of receptacles on each leg. On each leg, how are we going to do that? The number of receptacles on each leg. Um, so I'm going to take this and this and this and this how many receptacles are all these on this leg right can you see that number of receptacle on leg one how many 21 19 10 8 how many are these 58, 58. thank you any second 58 58 receptacles this is receptacle the second the third thing i'm going to go is i'm going to take uh, a blue here this with this with this with this Add them up, you see the receptacles on this leg. They should be short one. 57, right? 57 receptacles. Who cares? Because we're going to find the derating factor based on these receptacles now. So here is my question for you guys. Which one would you use to, find, to do the math on? The one with less receptacle, less amps, or the one with more amps and more receptacle? More amps, more receptacles. You, the worst scenario, more amps, more receptacles. So the one for all sizing purposes, we're going to be using this leg. Okay? Why? Because it has more amps, more receptacles. Okay. Let's go find um, what's the derating factor for 58 receptacles. 58 receptacles, derating factor for 58 receptacles. 40%. Thank you, sir. It's right in here, 40%. Okay? Everybody got that one? 40%. Good. Now let's go back and size. All right? So I'm going to, I need the 1980, so I'm going to take the uh, 19, 1980 times 0.4 equal what? This is the demand, I demand, I demand, uh, press 782. 792 equal 792 amps. Gentlemen, you have done. So what you need to what we need to do now is size the panel like we have done. These are all brand circuits. These are all brand circuits coming out of this panel, going to feed all these receptacles. So um, and we need to size this panel. And like we have done everything else, guys, we're going to need one, two, three. And I'm going fast through this because we have done it many times. Ground, neutral, bonding jumper. This will be, and all the way to Mother Earth. And press, this will be four. And this will be five. So I'm going to size the panel. Then, and at the end of these, what do you guys think it's going to be at the end of these? These are receptacles. At the end of these, these are your receptacles here. I'm just showing them. So Ashley, if they ask you to go find, I have a 50 amp receptacle here. That's feeding 50 amp brand circuit, feeding a 50 amp pedestal receptacle. How do you size the brand circuit? Piece of cake, Chad. I go under 50 and find number, uh, number eight. So you're going to pull, if it's 50 amp, 240, 
you're going to be pulling number eight, two conductors number eight, going all the way to that receptor. Now, we're not doing the brain circuit. Brain circuits are easy. You size them. These are 50, and there was also 30 amp. There was also 20 amp. What was there? Um, another 20. Okay? Yes, sir. This is... Put a one before the nine. Did you delete the one? Okay, so this one, um, I demand was one. One nine eight zero. Okay, did I do that one here too? Yeah, one nine eight zero. So why did I drop the one? One nine eight zero. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So I want to go size these piece of cake now based on seven nine two, based on seven nine two. Any question guys about these? The brand circuits are easy to size. Okay, so let's go to number one. Can I move or slow? Double pole breaker. Yep. So these will be. Thank you. This will be two pole. This will be two pole. This will be two pole. This will be single pole. And um, and um, I'm going to erase this. And if you want to, how many of you, how many of these did we have? The 50, first just for the hit of it. How many of the 50 we said? 21. 21. How about the other one? The 30. 19. 19. And this one? 10. And the last one? 15. Okay. And as long as you are in it here, Chris, you know, nobody can work. Let's go size single. This one will be most likely. Two conductors number 12. Done, right? And if it's longer distances, you might put number 10 because of voltage drop. So be careful. This one, uh, the same thing, two conductors number 12. This baby here is going to be two, uh, this is two pole, two conductors number 10. And this baby here, 50, that will be two conductors number um Number what? Number uh, eight. Done. Now, if it's 250 slash 120, then it will be three conductors. I'm just saying it's just purely 250. And don't forget there will be a ground with them. There will be a ground. So, really, in reality, each one of them is, let's add three because there's going to be a ground. Three, because there will be a ground conductor and three. So, two hots and, and two hots and a, uh, or a hot and neutral ground. So, these are sized easy. Right? So you take the brand circuit. The only thing I'm going to warn you with, guys, is number 12, you might have to go higher because of voltage drop, which is not a big deal. We can up it a little bit. Done. That's the brand circuit. Piece of cake. Let's go size the service. Any question guys about the, the brand circuit? Straightforward, right? So you don't have to supply the neutral. Only if it's needed. If it's 2 pole, 250, I don't need a neutral. Okay. If it's... Two conductor for the two hots, and the third one is for the ground, equipment ground and conductor. Yep. Makes sense? Here, it's single pole, but why do I have two conductors? One hot, one neutral, and why do I need a third one? Ground, equipment ground and conductor. Use, uh, pipe. If you, most likely these are underground PVC, uh, direct buried cables or in PVC, most likely. Well, they're not going to the water, though. They're on the shore. Yeah, they're going to the shore, though. It's actually better to use it not. Okay. Or direct buried cable or PVC. Um, all right, so let's go. And uh, now size one, 792. So remind me, my amps are 792 amps. Did I do it right? Before I get into the 792 amps, I believe so. Yeah, 792 amps. Okay. The rest is piece of kit. Number one, panel. Panel size. This is D1, V-12 uh, or 13. Okay, so 792, uh, 800 amp. That's we've just done that, Chad. Number two, overcurrent protection device. This is from 240.6. And the same thing, 790, take four to 800, 800 amps. That's a piece of cake. We just size this. 
right? We've just sized an 800, so that we're repeating an example that we've done. Can I move? It's repetition. Okay. So let's go to number three. Number three. Number three is um, uh, service conductor. Service conductors. Number three, guys. This is for all the three conductors for hot, and we call them hot, and neutral. It's going to be the same. It's the same calculation. Do you remember what? why was the same calculation? That little note at the top of the table that says do not derate the neutral. So because of that, um, I'm going to go size the hot. What was the hot again? Uh, I have 700. I'm going to parallel two. That will get me. Yeah. Uh, no, the 800. I'm going to size based on 800. 800 M. 800 M. Divide by 2, give me 400. Take this one to 310.15 B16. Got married, change your name. Um, that will give me how many sets? Two sets of three conductors, including the neutral. Each one of them inspires 600 KCM. 600 KCM. Done. Why three, two hots, and a neutral? Why didn't I derate the neutral? Because of that little note. The last thing, number four, is grounding electron conductor. This is 250.66 table and article. I have two times 600 K equals 1200 KCM from the table. 1200 KCM give you from the table 250.66. What did it give you? Uh, three R? Three R? Okay. One conductor, three R. By the way, this is I'm going to use T, okay, H, H, W here. All right, so this is my grounding electrode conductor. The last thing, five, is the main. Bonding jumper. For the main bonding jumper, guys, since we exceeded 1100 kcm, we have to take the 12.5%. So we're going to go to 250.28 and 250.66. Piece of cake, Chad. We're going to take 0 0.125 times 1200. Nick, 0.125 times 1200. Anybody can help Nick? Second. <laughs> One fifty. Thank you. One five zero KCM. We've just done that, guys. If you go look for a one five zero, good luck. So where are you gonna go? You're gonna go to one five zero KCM. Go to chapter nine. Table. Which table? Table number eight. What, what was the size when we went there, guys? We did that one a minute ago. And then right in here, that will be one conductor. Oops. Uh, will be one conductor, three odd. Done. One conductor, three odd. One conductor, three odd. Very easy piece of cake. Let's do it with the calculator and then I'll let you guys go. If I can't find the calculator. She disappeared on me. I think she changed her name too. Oh man, how am I going to get it back? Oh. There you go. I got it back. She, yes, she changed her name, but she will come always to her first love, right? Okay, let's go do that one, guys. This is single phase. Let's go change my calculator quick to set single phase and set 75 because I know I'm higher than 500, uh, I'm higher than 100 amp uh, equipment. Okay. So I have an 800 amp piece of cake. Here's my 800 amp, hit amps, and we're at copper. 
and I need to parallel two sets. Here's a two and parallel. I came up with 600, right? So this is my 600. Two sets of 600. Everybody came up with the same? Two sets of 600. Okay. So the second thing I can do is the neutral. Let me see if we can do the uh, grounding electrical conductor. So I have 600. I think I can multiply. Oops, I can't. So let's go to 1,200. Everybody knows why 1,200? I don't know if it's going to allow me to do that, though. K wire. No. Doesn't allow me to do that because I'm paralleling here. Okay, I don't know. Uh, we, when we start paralleling, I don't know how to find the grounding electrical conductor with the calculator. Well, here's 600 K wire, but I want, I want it to know times two because we need to multiply by two. If you go uh, this, it will give you, it will give you number one because you size based on one 600 you're going to size based on two 600s which is 1200 does it make sense you're going to take a, a conductor which is 1200 one two zero zero kcm you exceed the limit of the calculator hmm. um i don't know i might have to do it by hand this one if it's higher than 1100 kcm if you start paralleling it you might have to do it by hand I have to check the manual. Well, let's do one more time. Try it one more time. Here's 800 amp. Um, I need um, and I need uh, two conductor wire size parallel. Let me hit here and see what what that give me. Zero. See, it's size based on one one conductor. Okay. Sorry, you're on your own for the main bonding jumper. Any question, guys? Any question? Thank you for allowing me to go half an hour to finish that chapter. That's it. So the only thing now, the only thing will change, Chris, in an example, is the number that you guys just gave me, 21, 19, 10, 15. If you go change the numbers and do the calculation, really, nothing will change other than the numbers. The numbers will change, and based on the numbers, obviously, you're going to change the the the, the rating percentage. Any question, guys? Any question, my friends, before we go eat? Okay.